right, so this is what I got going. So <clears throat> I, uh, I added this leaf here. I extended this leaf over here. I added some of the um, orange, which is hard to see, but it's there over in this corner. I added more of the red, extended that. I took some orange from here, added it in here, um, extended all of this, and added this bit here. I don't know, I've done quite a bit. Um, so I think now I'm going to wait because I've got to let it dry. And then I think I'm going to start taking my next layer, which is adding some of this stuff. This is um, some felted wool from Steph Francis that's been dyed um, various colors. Here's some bark. Here's some uh, cheesecloth. And I don't know, I'm gonna add some, I think some of that red wool here and um, maybe like do kind of like cut work with it, like, you know, make it more like a lattice looking almost. So I get like wisps of the red, but it's still got a lot of transparency to it. Um, and what else? I think, I don't know, I, you know, I'm not gonna plan ahead. Um, I do like how I added the striations here. I think that was successful. I'm wondering if I should add more so that it kind of comes, you know, like that. But I don't know. I could also do that with maybe some other material. Um, but that's where I'm at right now. So the next step, I think will be to cut out some of this, apply it once this is dry, um, pin it, and then I'll have to take the whole thing down, which is somewhat problematic, um, only because it's not easy to pin this up. I have to like literally get a hammer. Um, it's not, you know, it's, it's like I'm, I'm actually hammering tacks into a plaster. It's not like a design wall. Um, so, you know, taking it off and on is, is, is a little bit more arduous than I'd like, but there it is, it's okay. And that's that. Um, yeah. There's more to be continued. All right, so I'm starting to add my wool layers, right? So I've got some red here. There's a bit here. And then I've got these wool, the wool up here, which is here, 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 and here. I'll zoom in so you can see, um, because right now the only one that you're really able to see is that. But uh, once I start adding more, it that's not gonna be so prominent. So, right? So I've got this one, this one, this one. I've got a little one here. And then I've added these, right? Which is kind of mimicking this over here. That was the idea, to do like a cluster of them here. I'm going to add much more wool. So I've got some green wool down here. I've got this one here. And I'm going to be adding a lot more of the wool. I really like how this is kind of coming into play here. Like, look how cool this is. It's totally working with the, with the dye. I think I might add some of this mulberry bark to do more of the striations in this area here. Um, yeah, so it's kind of exciting. I feel like this is a good direction. Um, I also realized that you can't really see, so see how I added this bit for the leaf and this one down here you can see but this one you really weren't able to see and that I'm going to emphasize more um, I'm not sure how but I'll figure it out 
So it's coming together. Um, I'm really loving this. I feel like that's super subtle and it kind of is all working. Um, so I'm excited to get that down. And yeah. I just wanted to come in close so that you could see the layers that I'm adding here. And so far I'm adding wool and some bark. Because I did my paint, so now I'm adding other materials, right? Once I have that down, um, I'm going to add a few more materials and then I'm going to pin everything in place. I'm going to start, I'm going to have to take it off the wall and start stitching. But I don't want to take it off until I really have as much as I can pinned down because taking it off and on is, are, is not easy. So I really want to make sure that I've got this, um, the next layer uh, you know, pretty well done. I am going to add some things over here. I'm not sure what, but I, this is a big space that I feel like needs something. So I'm going to figure that out. It's the color that's somewhat problematic for me because I don't have wool in this color. I don't have cheesecloth in that color and I don't have mulberry bark in that color. So um, not sure, maybe I have to paint something that color, I, I don't know, but, um, or like a similar, you know, in that range, not sure, I'll, I'll play around with some ideas, but otherwise, there it is, it's looking cool, I'm very excited, I love this that I added, um, these are a little bit bright, but I'm, I don't know, I mean, I think they all sort of blend in, and the mulberry bark, I think, is good. Uh, whether I add a touch of blue over here, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I'll figure it out. 